In this animation, we'll examine the steps required to calculate the instantaneous voltage at a given point in the circuit containing a sinusoidal voltage source. This circuit contains two resistive elements and a single sinusoidal voltage source. Here we can see the typical output waveform produced by this type of source. The voltage appearing across the terminals of this source at any given time can be calculated using the relationship shown here. In this relationship, E represents the instantaneous voltage in volts. EP represents the peak voltage in volts. Omega represents the angular velocity and is measured in radians. F represents the frequency of the source in hertz and T represents the desired time in seconds. The angular velocity for a source of this nature can be calculated by multiplying the frequency by a factor of 2 pi. The angular velocity in this relationship is expressed in radians per second. As radians are not the normal angular measure that most people are used to, we can convert the radian measure into an equivalent degree measure. To calculate the angular velocity in degrees, we multiply the radian angle measure by the number of degrees in a single radian. One complete revolution is equal to 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. From this, we can deduce that a single radian is equal to 360 divided by 2 pi degrees. In order to evaluate this expression using the degree setting on a calculator, you must multiply the angular measure by 57.3 degrees. An example will illustrate the use of this relationship. For the example circuit shown here, we are asked to calculate the voltage at point A after 10 milliseconds. For the purpose of this question, we will assume a positive going value of 0 volts at time equal to 0 seconds. The first step in this solution is to calculate the peak voltage value. This is accomplished by multiplying the provided RMS source voltage by a factor of the square root of 2. The resulting peak voltage for this source is 169.7 volts. The next step in the solution is to employ the instantaneous voltage relationship to calculate the voltage across the source at a time equal to 10 milliseconds. When doing the calculation, we evaluate the degree measure first. We then take the sine of the degree measure and multiply it by the peak value of 169.7 volts to arrive at an instantaneous voltage value of negative 99.749 volts at 10 milliseconds. Lastly, we use the voltage divider rule and the voltage value obtained from step 2 to calculate the instantaneous voltage at point A after 10 milliseconds. We use the instantaneous source voltage value along with the resistor values to arrive at a final voltage of minus 67.945 volts. Therefore, the instantaneous voltage at point A in the circuit after 10 milliseconds will be approximately negative 67.95 volts.